Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. Now in today's episode I have some high ambitions. I want to crank out two pretty awesome weapons from the Calamity Mod and how I'm actually doing this is earlier today I spent three hours just going around the world, getting all the crafting materials and putting in all the groundwork for today's episode. So as you guys know I didn't prepare for the end game throughout the series. As you guys know, I literally just coasted my way through Calamity using, you know, a, a bunch of weapons that the game gave me, but I didn't actually prepare for anything big. And the reason I didn't prepare for anything big is because I didn't know what was coming up, because obviously a sublime playthrough. And when a bunch of you were recommending swords and stuff, you know, I had them in the back of my mind, but I didn't know where to look for everything. So I just kind of left it on the back burner, and then boom, here we are, post Moon Lord. So I went and did everything I think I needed to do today for what you guys have been requesting the most. And I apologize, because it must have been frustrating to see. It's just that, yeah, I just, you know, I, I, I just never did it throughout the series. I think it's because... It's all blind and it's hard to remember something when you've never seen it. And it's like, remember this sword? And it's like, okay, I've got to remember that. And then it's like, but I don't know what that is. And yeah, here we are today. I'm super excited for this. I'm actually kind of pumped. Hope you're all having an absolutely awesome Valentine's Day. It's the 14th of February today. It's my birthday in two days on the 16th. Excited for that. You'll probably still see a video on that day. Right, okay. So what I did... Oh wait, this is... <laughs> I probably should explain this. I, uh, I built a second little area for crafting because, as you can see, this area was getting a little bit cluttered, so I removed it all. I left blocks and furniture and uh, just moved it to another building because why not? It makes it a little bit easier so I don't have to keep going, okay, where's this? And where's this? And where's this? I've organized it all. It's all sorted. No more smart stack. It's gone. Hey, we heard the human quack. I don't know if my audio will pick that up, but we heard the human quack. Okay, so let's begin with weapons. I'm going to be fumbling around here for a minute. So, one, two, I need one more. So that's two parts. So, uh, Fiery Great Sword and Blade of Grass, a Muramasa, a Light Spain, and then I think that's it. That will make our first thing, won't it? Will it make our first thing? Let me just double check. Okay, let's see. So, Knight's Edge. You have to make it at a Demon's Altar. Okay, so I've not done that yet. So let's go to a Demon's Altar, and, uh, and let's go make it. I think our closest one will probably be, I'm guessing literally just over there. So let's go over there. Let's go and get that done first. So this is the first thing we have to do. I made sure to get all of the crafting materials. I just didn't make any of the things because I wanted to do it all on camera. And because I uh, I skipped some things through the series, I wanted to uh, at least give you my initial reactions to how cool the sword could have been in our playthrough. So let's go over to the demon altar. But yeah, I hope you're all having a good Valentine's Day. I think Valentine's Day is shared throughout the world, right? Like it's in America and it's in Britain. Yeah, cool. Hope you... Uh, Hope you're all enjoying it. Hope you've all got big plans. Hope you're all being gentlemen. You've got somebody a gift. <laughs> right. Um, man, down we go. So, uh, let's get to a demon altar. Just to clarify, by the way, I should, I should have said then. Uh, if you were ever wondering what I do on Valentine's Day, I do the same thing with my girlfriend pretty much every year. We, uh, we hang out and uh, we watch TV shows together and we binge food. That's what we do for Valentine's Day. That's our thing. Because my birthday's on the 16th, and then we usually go away or go out for a meal or something really nice on my birthday. And that's why we always spend Valentine's Day really cash. But she got some flowers, some chocolate, some bath bombs, and some jewelry. Way to go. Right, okay. Um, I don't even know where our demon altars are because I destroyed most of them in the great demon altar destroying day of uh, hard mode day one. Hmm, I don't even know where our last one is. Let me check. So we'll have one somewhere. That's the thing. Maybe it's, uh... Right, I just saw one there. Is that one? I think this might... There might be one over here. There's one there. Okay, let's go to that one over there. So that's the uh, the next corruption along. Let's go there, because that'll do. Okay, over we go. And down the tunnel we go. Let's see. This Down this tunnel. Okay, right before the uh, right before the ocean, man. That's such a close corruption. Okay, down we go. And it was down here, right? Oh, there's actually one just here. So, bam, Knight's Edge. Okay, so that's uh, that's step one. Step two is going to be making <coughs> the 
true Knight's Edge and the true Excalibur, I believe. So in here I should have an Excalibur. I do. Uh, and then crafting material-wise, I have somewhere the true thingies. Where are they? The true broken swords. The funny thing with this uh, true broken swords is I actually had to do the solar eclipse three times. Because uh, at one point, and this is no joke, I got seven Eye of Cthulhu yo-yos in a row. Seven of them. Like, that is mad. That is absolutely mad. Okay, why have I not... <laughs> right, I've maybe not organized it so, so well. Let's see, where did I put you? Where did I put you? I put you somewhere. You are here, I know you are. Where did I put you, though? <laughs> maybe it's actually in the weapons tab. It probably is in the weapons tab. Let's go see. Um, no. Yeah, there we go. I have a third crafting tab, that's why. I'm getting a little bit confused, because usually I only have two. So one, two, okay, and then that makes the, you can either make the Terra Edge or the Terra Blade. I'm going to make the Terra Blade. Okay, so that's step two. Weapons free, so now I need to combine that, not the Ark of the Ancients yet, the Heavy Marana. These were all really easy to craft as well. Um, and where's the last one, the frosty looking one? Or do I even have that made yet? I'm pretty sure I have the frosty looking one made. Let me see. Frosty... What? What is it called? <laughs> is that one? I'm going to have to check. Because I, I did all this, but uh, it's hard to remember, to be honest. So let's see. So that goes into there. To make the Teratomi, you need that one, that one, that one. The Temporal Flow Sword. Right, I've not made the Temporal Flow Sword. That's the one I've not made. Okay, so I'm going to need for the Temporal Flow Sword a... Frostbark Sword? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Frostbark sword. I've got a few of these. I'm gonna need some cores. So I might some have. I, I might have some in here. I might have it in the next one. Let's see. Ice frost cores. Okay. And then what else do I need for that one? There's something else as well. I think it's like essence of Alelium or something. Okay. You need a broken hero sword and five ectoplasm. Okay, right, so I have the ectoplasm because I spent a lot of time in the dungeon looking for a spectre staff for one of the swords. And now I can make myself a icy sword somewhere. So that, 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 and that. Right? No? <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little bit confused and a little bit off track again. So let's see this again. So that, 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 that. Oh, you need an ice machine. I don't have an ice machine. Oh, no. Okay, I've got to go get myself an ice machine then. I'll have to be right back. Okay, so the temporal flow sword, that is done. And then I might have everything ready now for the final thing. I might not, though. Let's see. So that is one, two, three, four, five swords. And then... No, that's not a sword, obviously. All right, okay. I apologize for that. So let's put that one in here. So the teratoma. So one, two... Free. Oh, the Hellkite. I need the Hellkite. Okay. I've already got the Hellkite made. So it should be in one of these. Sorry for my rambling today. I'm trying to remember everything. I had to literally think so hard of what I'm actually trying to make here because I've never heard of these things before and I, I kind of made them on the fly. So uh, I'm still trying to remember it all and I'm sorry for that. Terra Tamir. Okay. So this is one thing that I missed out on. Terra Tamir. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I can see why you guys wanted me to craft this. This is awesome. Jesus. I could see this, like, breaking people's computers. And does it split up when you actually hit an enemy? That is amazing. 300 and... Wow. Link to the essence of Terraria. Wow, that is so cool. Jesus, dude. Jesus, man. Right, okay, well, what's the upgrade then? So the upgrade is a... Ark of the Ancients. And you need a true Ark of the Ancients, Cause of Calamity, Bars of Life, this stuff and this stuff. Right, so I need to learn how to make an Ark of the Ancients. Because I've already prepared for this. Ark of... Alright, you can't do that. So, Ark of the Ancients. You need the Essence and stuff. So I've already got that. And then, for the true Ark of the Ancients, you need... Living Shards from Plantera, Core of Calamity, Broken Hero Sword, and the Ark. Okay. 
So I have that one made. This one's in here. So this is the Ark of the Ancients. And then I need to combine that with some Living Shards. And what else again? Living Shards, Core of Calamity. Okay, Core of Calamity. So I can now make a true Ark of the Ancients. So I've got these two together. And then I'm going to need some Luminite Bars. I'm also going to need some Cores of Calamity, which I've already gotten. And then what was the last thing? Let's see. Let's move this out of the way. Oh, I've actually... <laughs> I've, I've accidentally grabbed some meat. Okay. So, Ark of the Ancients. Oh, I need this stuff and the Bars of Life. Okay. Well, I've already prepared both of those. So, Bars of Life. No, that's Vicious Tide. Bars of Life. And then I need these things from the Fragments. And I should be ready now for... Bam. The Ark of the Ancients. There we go. <laughs> I just heard the human quack again. So this one is the, the most powerful one, right? And then there's one last thing I wanted to craft, which was the upgrade to our biome blade. We have to see this because we did uh, we did use this for like most of the series. So I have to see the final form. And the final form looks like this. Pretty cool. Just got a, a massive, massive uh, damage increase. Finds different projectile... Oh, wow. Okay. Projectiles also change based on moon events. So this is the Ark of the Elements then. Very strong knockback, a heavenly blade infused with the essence of Terraria. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my god, I love the rainbow effect on it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I hope I satisfied a few people today. I know I sound like a rambling idiot when I'm crafting stuff. And I know that I can be a bit cringy when I'm looking for stuff in a in a chest and I can't see it. I really do apologize. It's this recording syndrome. Like, when I'm not recording, I can spot things a mile off. But when you're recording, there's a bit of an added stress. Okay. Okay. And for those who said I sound a little bit boring when I'm crafting, it's because I'm thinking. I always sound boring when I'm thinking. <sighs> okay. Right. Last thing is the upgrade to the Ankh Shield. So, a lot of people have been saying this. There is an upgrade to the Ankh Shield, and it's the Asgard Valor. And for this, you need these two different types of shields. Now, I cannot remember what these shields are. So, let's see. Okay, so the Ornate Shield, which uses uh, that bar and crystals. And then Visitide and Coral. Okay, so let's hold this up then. So, I need this bar. I also need this bar. I need Coral, which I think I keep in nature. Let's see, have I got any coral in here? If I don't have any coral in here, I probably haven't got any at all. Unless I keep it in fishing, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Or unless it's in crafting. Ah, uh, it's in crafting, okay. So that one's that one. And then what was the other one? You needed crystal shards. Well, I have crystal shards. I have a bunch of them. So I've got crystal shards. So I need to make the two different shields. So here is one of them. And then the second one is here. And then I need to combine those together to make... I don't know what this actual item is called. The Asgard's Valor. Right, I did know that. I just read it a minute ago. Are there any cores and living shards? So, in terms of crafting, I have Core of Cinder, Core of Chaos. And then I also need Core of Elium. And then I also need Life Fruit, which I keep in here. In one of the accessories, I think... Yeah, there we go. Life Fruit. So, all of those combined make the Valor. But I don't know whereabouts it is. So, I've got my two different types of shield. Unless I've still got this in the crafting thing. There we go. Right. So, is that everything I need then? Asgard's Valor? Okay. So, let's see. Grants immunity to fire, blocks, and knockback. Immune to most debuffs. 12% damage reduction while submerged in liquid. Increased defense when below 25% life. Plus 50 max life and increased life regen. Grants an improved holy dash can be used to ram enemies. So, there we go. There is a, a bunch, a bunch of upgrades. So, when we actually come back on tomorrow and we face off against some of the final bosses, we are now equipped to do so. I feel pretty good about that. That was, a, like I said, I spent three hours on that. Just uh, kind of farming around and such. 
So I'm glad that it's finally kind of over with. But that was really fun. Right, guys, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Valentine's Day. I've still got a few things I need to make for Chippy Gaming today because I'm covering the Valentine's Day event in mobile. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And once again, just before we go, I just want to say I'm really sorry that I didn't prepare at the start. It's because it's kind of hard to remember everything when you've not seen it. But if I was to ever do a second playthrough of this, I would know to look out for this now. Four platinum for a reforge. Let's do it. Dull. Let's do it. It's going to have to be agile because I'm out of platinum. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to end it there, guys. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.